Hello dear students, I welcome you all to the excellent current affairs session where we will cover the best 200 current affairs of March part 4. So today we will cover part 4. So I hope you have already gone through the daily current affairs from our app which you can get from our Google Play Store, right? You can just download the app, download our Exigence Educator app from the Google Play Store, right? Just open the Google Play Store and write Exigence Educator, you will get the app. So I hope you have already gone through the detailed current affairs from our website or app. So today we'll cover part 4, right? We'll cover the MCQ for, uh, format so as to wrap up the entire week, right? We'll cover the important MCQs from the entire week. So this is today's first question. World Water Day is observed on 22nd March. What is the theme for this year? So we all know World Water Day is observed on 22nd March. You just have to say what was the theme for this particular year. For this year the theme was valuing water. Just have a look. I have taken this picture from the newspaper. See why is World Water Day celebrated? So it was uh, started by the United Nations. Just have a look here. To focus on the importance of fresh water, the United Nations marks March 22nd every year as the World Water Day. The theme of World Water Day 2021 is valuing water, right? According to the UN, World Water Day celebrates water and raises awareness of the 2.2 billion people living without access to safe water. Can you just imagine? We waste so much water every day, right? So you can just have a look here, see? The tap is open, right? There is, uh, there is no tap here actually. Fine. This end is open and water is flowing, right? So this is how water is wasted on a daily basis, right? And can you imagine 2.2 billion people are living without access to safe water. So we should be aware, we should be, uh, what to say, we should maintain uh, caution, right? And save water, we should be aware. This awareness should be spread among everyone, among all the people, right? Among all the common denizens, right? So we should spread awareness so that we can save water and protect safe water or safe drinking water for the future generations to come. Fine. Saving water will provide clean water and safe water for the future generations. So we should raise this awareness and spread it. Next one. According to a study released by defense website Military Direct, China has the strongest military force in the world while India stands at number dash. So you have to say according to Military Direct, China has got the strongest military force in the world. Right? So what is India's rank in this report? India ka rank kya hai? Isme. So India ranks 4th. Right? India is at the 4th position. China has the world's strongest military, India at 4th place. Okay, so this is the report. The USA despite their enormous military budgets comes in 2nd place. So US is in the 2nd place. Okay, the United States is at the 2nd place. After that we have Russia. Russia is at the 3rd place and India 4th place, right? Alright. And UK is at the ninth place. Next one, the theme of World Meteorological Day. Meteorological Day is the ocean or climate and weather. So theme examiner ne bata diya, suppose in the exam. So you will have to say when was it observed? Kab ye manaya jata hai? So it is observed on, it is observed on, match your answer with me, 23rd March, World Meteorological Day. Okay, it showcases the essential contribution of national meteorological and hydrological services to the safety and well-being of society. World Meteorological Day is observed every year on 23rd March to highlight the importance of the role that people and their behavior play in protecting the Earth's atmosphere. The day also commemorates the establishment of the World Meteorological Organization. All right, and it was see. It was established on 23rd March 1950. So, this date is important. So, this is important. Okay. Gandhi Peace Prize for the year uh, 
2019 is being conferred on late his majesty sultan kabus bin said al said of oman okay gandhi peace prize for 2019 so you just have to say who has been conferred with the gandhi peace prize for the year 2020 who has been conferred with the gandhi peace prize for the year 2020 and friends dear students please do share this video in all groups if you are finding this current affairs session useful please do share it in all groups theek hai and also tell your friends to watch this and share among their friends right so that more and more people can get benefited so my answer will be sheikh mujibur rahman gandhi peace prize is an annual award instituted by government of india since 1995 the 125th birth anniversary commemoration year of mahatma gandhi okay the award is open to all persons regardless of nationality race language caste creeds or sex the jury for gandhi peace prize is chaired by prime minister narendra modi the award carries an amount of rupees 1 crore a citation a plaque an exquisite traditional handicraft or handloom item so this is the picture of bangabandhu sheik mujibur rahman okay and bangladesh you you must know he is known as the father of the nation of bangladesh right he was bangladesh's uh, first president first president of bangladesh and bangladesh achieved its independence under his indomitable leadership in the year 1971 Mujibur Rahman okay Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Ministry of Defense signed a contract with which company for supply of 1300 light specialist vehicles to the Indian army at a cost of 1056 crore so how many vehicles 1300 and what is the amount 1056 crore so my answer will be Mahindra Mahindra Defense Systems Limited Mahindra Defense Systems Limited the light specialist vehicle is a modern fighting vehicle and will be authorized to various fighting units for the carriage of medium machine guns automatic grenade launchers as well as anti tank guided missiles atgm next one is rbi has set up a committee which will evaluate applications for universal banks and small finance banks so who is the chairperson of this committee so is committee ka chairperson kisko banaya gaya hai so my answer will be Shamala Gopinath Shamala Gopinath Next one Healthy Food Platform It Fit announced whom as its brand ambassador for 4 years So is It Fit ne Healthy Food Platform jiska naam hai It Fit isne kisko brand ambassador banaya hai 4 saal ke liye So my answer would be Devdutt Parikkal It Fit ropes in cricketer Devdutt Parikkal as the brand ambassador for 4 years right next one in the 67th national film awards 2019 which state has backed the award for being most film friendly state so this was also in the daily uh, current affairs uh, which we have already uploaded on our app and website so i i hope you must have gone through this right so my answer will be the most film friendly state is shikkim is shikkim okay The award for the most film uh, film friendly state goes to Sikkim. Best non feature film will be awarded to Hemant Gabbas, An Engineer Dream. The award for the best film critic goes to Shohini Chattopadhyay. And in non feature film category, best animation film is to be awarded to Radha. So this is the entire list. Okay, just go through it. Fine. Next one, RBI has uh, has imposed a monetary penalty of a dash. RBI has imposed a monetary penalty of dash on Fed Bank Financial Services Limited in short Fed Fina for non compliance with certain provisions of the central bank's directions on monitoring of frauds so what is the penalty that has been imposed by Reserve Bank of India so my answer will be 15 lakhs see RBI imposes 15 lakhs penalty on Fed Fina you can just go through it for your reference right malaysia's lee ji jia has won the all india england open men's title by defeating whom so he is the winner and who is the runner up that is he has defeated whom so it's none other than 
इट्स नान अदर दैन मेरे साथ आप आंसर आपका आंसर टैली कर लीजिए इट्स नान अदर दैन विक्टर एक्सलसन फ्रॉम डेनमार्क फ्रॉम डेनमार्क हु हैज बैक द सिल्वर इन द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑनलाइन ब्लिट्स चेस चैंपियनशिप्स ब्लिट्स चेस चैंपियनशिप सो वट विल बी द आंसर सो माई आंसर विल बी पी इनियन ग्रैंड मास्टर पी इनियन विन सिल्वर एट एफ आई डी वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी मीट ओके नेक्स्ट द थीम ऑफ इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फॉरेस्ट इज फॉरेस्ट रेस्टोरेशन अ पाथ टू रिकवरी एंड वेल बींग फॉरेस्ट रेस्टोरेशन अ पाथ टू रिकवरी एंड वेल बींग इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन डैश सो इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन विच डेट सो इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च On the occasion of World Water Day an MOU was signed between Union Minister of Jal Shakti and the Chief Ministers of Madhya Pradesh and Dash to implement the Ken Betwa Link project KBLP in short Ken Betwa Link project so it's Madhya Pradesh and which state Chief Ministers of Madhya Pradesh and which state it is none other than UP Uttar Pradesh this project involves transfer of water from the Ken to the Betwa River through the construction of Dawdon Dam Dawdon Dam and a canal linking the two rivers the lower or project Kota Barrage and Bina complex multi purpose project it will provide annual irrigation of 10.62 lakh hectares drinking water supply to about 62 lakh people and also generate 103 megawatt of hydropower next one dash has launched atmanirbhar mahila gold loan a unique an exclusive gold loan scheme for women atmanirbhar mahila gold loan atmanirbhar mahila gold loan it has been launched by none other than muthut fincot see the name starts with m and this is also starting with m that is mahila gold loan by muthut this is an extension of muthut fincot's restart india mission so this is an ex- extension of which mission of muthut fincot it's restart india mission The Atmanirbhar Mahila Gold Loan Scheme was launched by actor Vidya Balan. So, who had launched it initially? It was actor Vidya Balan. Name the state that has launched first of its kind farmer produce organization portal. Farmer produce organization portal. So, the state is none other than Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh government develops India's first FPO portal. the farmers will be able to download the necessary documents required to form the organizations directly from the portal it will contain all information on the fpos their key activities organizational structure and producers uttar pradesh chief minister yogi uh, yogi adityanath launched the up fpo shakti portal see this can also be asked shakti portal kis rajya ne launch kiya hai it's shakti portal right as part of the kishan kalyan mission so it is the part of kishan kalyan mission at an event in gorakhpur on sunday next one which state has recently launched mission gramodaya for development of villages in the state mission gramodaya for development of villages in the state so the state is none other than madhya pradesh mission gramodaya in madhya pradesh this I have, this i have taken from the all india radio news In Madhya Pradesh, Union Culture, sorry, Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar and Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan have launched the Mission Gramodaya in the state. Under this Gramodaya mission, besides providing housing facilities in rural areas, basic and fundamental infrastructure will also be expanded. Who has won women singles? So, अभी हमने किया था men singles, right? So now we are covering women singles in. Unix All England Open Badminton Championship. So the name is who is she? So मेरे साथ साथ आप आंसर आपका आंसर टैली कर लीजिए. Answer will be Nozomi Okuhara. Nozomi Okuhara. Next one. According to RBI report, what is the growth in India's software services export in financial year twenty? According to RBI report, what is the growth in India's software services export? In financial year twenty, so my answer will be nine point one percent. It is nine point one percent. Who has virtually launched the book, bringing governments and people closer? 
bringing governments and people closer. So, this book has been virtually launched by M. Venkaya Naidu. M. Venkaya Naidu. Okay. See, the book bringing governments and people closer. A development uh, practitioner's prescription was launched through virtual mode on 20th March by the Vice President of India, M. Venkaya Naidu. And who has authored this book? The book was authored by Dr. M. Ramachandran, retired IAS officer, Chancellor of ICFAI University, Dehradun. So, it has been authored by Dr. M. Ramachandran. So, I just add these newspapers pictures. Okay. So, I add this for the extra information, just for your own good, right? For your reference, so that you can uh, easily go through the extra information from the PDFs. Initiated by National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, NCPOR, India plans to conduct airborne radar sur surveys to estimate the thickness of Himalayan glaciers with a pilot study to be conducted in Lahul Spiti Valley of Himachal Pradesh. So, we just, this is the entire news. Okay. So, I have added it in the question. So, we just have to say who is the director of NCPOR, who is the director of NCPOR. So, the director is M. Ravichandran. NCPOR headquarter is in Vasco da Gama. See, India to conduct airborne radar surveys of Himalayan glaciers. India plans to conduct airborne radar surveys to estimate the thickness of Himalayan glaciers with a pilot study to be conducted in Lahul Spiti Basin of Himachal Pradesh. Once the pilot project is done, similar studies will be conducted in Indus, Ganga, and Brahmaputra sub basins. Where is Asia's largest tulip garden? which has been opened for the public recently. Asia's largest tulip garden, which has been opened for the public recently. So, it is in Srinagar. Asia's largest tulip garden opens in Srinagar. Sees 4,000 visitors. The Asia's largest tulip garden was thrown open on Thursday in Srinagar with around 4,000 visitors enjoying the bloom of the 25% of the 15 lakh flowers. Planted over 30 hectares, located at the foothills of the Zabarwan Range. Next one, IRDAI has hiked the maximum cover under Aragya Sanjivani policy from dash to dash. So, hiked means increased the maximum cover. So, it has been enhanced or increased. So, it has been enhanced or increased, or you can say hiked from 5 lakh, 5 lakh to 10 lakh. 5 lakh to 10 lakh. Next one. Recently, which bill has been passed by the parliament on 25th March? So, this is in news, right? So, ye aapne suna hoga, dekha bhi hoga. Okay. This is all over the news. So, which bill has been passed? Yes. The name of the bill is National Bank for Financing Interest, fi sorry, for Financing or Financing infrastructure and development. So, finance minister has proposed, finance ministry has uh, clearly mentioned a new bank will be set up. Okay. National Bank for Financing Infrastructure Development. Parliament passed the bill to set up National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. Okay. NAVFID. So, this bill was passed on 25th March. Okay. Who has recently uh, inaugurated the Shahid Bhagat Singh Smarak in New Delhi. Shahid Bhagat Singh Smarak in New Delhi recently. So, it was inaugurated by Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. Next one. Which state has recently launched summer campaign to fight malnutrition? Kis rajya ne summer campaign launch kya hai? Purpose kya hai? Function kya hai? So, as to fight malnutrition. Yes. So, the name of the state is Jharkhand. Jharkhand has recently launched it. Name the state government that signed MOU, that signed an MOU with ITC to execute watershed program. For the watershed program, which state government has signed an MOU with ITC? So, uh, the state Karnatak has signed a memorandum of understanding with ITC for the execution of watershed program. Recently, Nirmala Sitaraman has launched Central Scrutiny Center and IEPFA's mobile app. 
Now we have to say what does P in IEPFA stand for? What does P in IEPFA stand for? So tally, tally your answer with me. Yes, my answer will be protection IEPFA that is Investor Education and Protection Fund. Investor Education and Protection Fund. So this is very important. Next one. So don't forget it. Okay. Which state has become the first state to implement ethanol production promotion policy 2021? Ethanol production promotion policy 2021. So which state is the first one to implement this? Kis rajya ne ye pehli bar implement kiya hai? Matlab it is the first in India to do so. Yes, the state is Bihar. Next one. United Nations Office for Project Services has partnered with which country to provide technical support for Jal Jivan Mission? So it has partnered with which country with which country to provide technical support for Jal Jivan Mission? So my answer will be Denmark. My answer will be Denmark, right? Next one. Who is going to head the task force to set up uh, sorry, task, task force set up by Niti Aayog. So, kis ne set up kya hai? Niti Aayog ne set up kya hai? For effective conciliation mechanism. And one more thing, let me tell you. Ye jo full form hai, jaise yaha pe P pucha gaya hai yaha pe. They can also ask, uh, they can also ask, what does F stand for? What does E stand for? So, please be careful while going through this, right? So, is ka answer bataiye kya hoga is ka answer? Yes, my answer will be Amitav Kant. Amitav Kant. So, uh, just have a look here. Just have a look here. Niti Aayog, Niti Aayog sets up two task forces for achieving policy certainty. Okay. One is that will recommend a policy framework for the enforcement of contracts as well as effective conciliation mechanism for these two purposes. Okay, this is one task force, and the second task force, which will recommend a policy framework for the enforcement of contracts, will be led by Niti Aayog Vice Chairman Rajiv Kumar. So this is very important. Pehla humne to kar diya hai. Okay, I have already added. Second one is also important, Rajiv Kumar. It will be headed by Rajiv Kumar. Next one, the song Girl Gang, which has been announced as the official song of 2022 ICC Women's World Cup has been sung by whom? So this has been sung by whom? So it has been sung by Jean Wigmore, a New Zealand singer, Jean Wigmore. Applied Materials India. It is a local subsidiary of US-based Applied Materials INC. It has signed R&D Research and Development Pact with which institute? R&D Pact with which institute? So it has signed R&D Pact with IISC Bangalore. IISC Bangalore. Next. Trifed has entered into MOU with which state on March 19, 2021 for the implementation of the MSP for MFP Scheme and Vandhan Yojana, Vandhan Yojana in the state. So my answer will be, my answer will be Arunachal Pradesh. Trifed has signed MOU with government of Arunachal Pradesh for the implementation of MSP. Okay, for MFP. Right, you can just have a look here. You will find the details. Right, next one. Which state? और एक बात कहना चाहूँगा जो ये क्लास का पीडीएफ है इट विल बी अपलोडेड ऑन और टेलीग्राम चैनल एक्सीजेंस एडुकेटर ओके सो दिस इज और टेलीग्राम चैनल जस्ट सर्च एक्सीजेंस एडुकेटर ऑन टेलीग्राम विल फाइंड इट राइट यू विल गेट द पीडीएफ ऑन और टेलीग्राम चैनल वर द व्हिच व्हिच हैज सॉरी व्हिच स्टेट हैज इमर्ज्ड एज अ चैंपियन स्टेट वर द वंदन प्रोग्राम हैज इमर्ज्ड एज अ मेजर सोर्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर द लोकल ट्राइबल्स Another important question. So the state is Manipur. Manipur emerges as model state for Vandan Vikas Yojana. Manipur has emerged as the, cha as the champion state where Vandan program has emerged as a major source of employment for the local tribals. 
got it these constitutes see have a look here 100 uh, one then vikas kendras have been established this constitute 1500 shg self help groups and are benefiting 30000 tribal entrepreneurs right who are involved in the collection processing value adding packaging and marketing of value added products from minor forest produce mfp stands for minor forest produce mfp and what does msp stand for minimum support price next niti ayog ceo amitav kant reiterated reiterated the government's commitment to achieving net zero emission net zero emission targets in energy by which year even though it calls for a concerted strategy and massive investments so the target year is the target year is 2050 2050 who will be conferred with prestigious vest saman for his novel pataliputra ke samragi so the name is sharad pagade okay and let us have a look at the other options anamika winner of sahitya academy award 2020 for tokri me digant theri katha 2014 so it is in hindi for hindi arundhati subramaniam for uh, she has got the sahitya academy award 2020 for when god is a traveler english m virappa moili has got the sahitya academy award 2024 sri bahubali ahim shadvigyam okay for kannada actually this is ahim sadig vigyam okay next one who has authored the book my experiments with silence my experiments with silence so the name of the author is samir soni samir soni let us have a look at the other options because uh, we have already read this in the previous classes chetan bhagat one arranged murder Nirupam Yadav, author of Vishesh Code to Win, Raskin Bond, How to Be a Writer. These books were also in the news, right? In the last six months. Who has been appointed? Appointed ke baad as nahi hoga. I have intentionally given this for you. Who has been appointed? The CEO of UIDAI, that is Unique Identification Authority of India. Unique Identification Authority of India. So, the answer will be Sword of Garg, Sword of Garg, who has been brought on board as investor and brand ambassador by Jaipur based home furnishings brand Bela Kasa. Bela Kasa. So, the name is, I hope uh, you have come across this particular news on our app and website as well, right? Because uh, we have covered the detailed, in detailed daily news, right? on our app and website on our mobile application and website just download the exigence educator app and you will find the daily current affairs in details so my answer will be shraddha kapoor actor shraddha kapoor is investor and brand ambassador for home furnishing brand bella Casa. next one who is going to be the chairman and managing director that is cmd of food corporation of india fci so my answer will be cmd of fci my answer will be Atish Chandra. Atish Chandra. Next one. Who has been appointed? Again, appointed the chairman of Airports Authority of India. Appointed ke baad as nahi hota. Okay. So, uh, chairman of AAI, that is Airports Authority of India, is none other than Sanjeev Kumar. Sanjeev Kumar. Next one. Recently, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy inaugurated Kurnool Airport located at Orvakal and named it after Freedom Fighter Dash. So you just have to say what is the new name of Kurnuli Airport. Iska naya naam kya hoga? Yes, my answer is Narsimha Reddy. It has been named after famous Freedom Fighter Narsimha Reddy. This is him, and this is a still from the picture from the movie. Okay, a still from the movie uh, which was made on him. Okay, Narsimha Reddy from the movie who will be presented the Maharashtra Bhushan Award very important this was also in the news recently Maharashtra Bhushan Award for the year 2020 for the year 2020 yes Maharashtra Bhushan Award was given to Asha Bhosle Maharashtra Bhushan Award is the 
इट विल बी इज द हाइएस्ट द हाइएस्ट ओके सुपरलेटिव डिग्री ए नहीं आएगा यहाँ पे ओके इज द हाइएस्ट एंड प्रेस्टिजियस मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस आई वॉर प्रेजेंटेड एनुअली बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट इन इंडिया ओके आशा भोसले टू बी ऑनर्ड विद महाराष्ट्र भूषण लेजेंडरी सिंगर विल रिसीव सॉरी विल रिसीव कैश प्राइज ऑफ टेन लैक एंड अ साइटेशन ओके नेक्स्ट वन वॉट इज द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया अमॉन्ग फिफ्टी थ्री ग्लोबल इकोनॉमीज ऑन द लेटेस्ट एनुअल एडिशन ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इंडेक्स इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इंडेक्स इंटरनेशनल आई पी इंडेक्स सो माई आंसर विल बी my answer will be 40 india's rank was 40 okay out of 53 next one what is the rank uh, sorry what is the name of the e tendering portal launched by power grid corporation e tendering portal launched by power grid corporation yes so if you have already answered please do tally your answer with me the name is pranith okay power grid launches certified e tendering portal the name is pranith next one chief justice of india sharad arvind bobde has recommended whom his successor that is he will be the 48th 48th chief justice okay so my answer will be n v ramana see justice n v ramana set to take over as the 48th chief justice of india okay 48th chief justice of india next one and he has been recommended by sharad arvind bobde the present chief justice of india next one which country's defense minister is on a visit to india from 25th march to 27th of march so he had uh, he had been on a visit to india from 25th to 27th yes the name is rather you can say uh, the defense minister is from south korea here you will find the name south korean defense minister the name is Su Wook, okay. Su Wook will arrive in India on Thursday for a three-day visit. During his visit, he will be discussing India-South Korea defense cooperation with his Indian counterpart Rajnath Singh. Dash has rolled out its innovative lending product distributor to retailer finance D2R Finance, which will focus specially on empowering small and medium enterprises. Empowering small and medium enterprises. Yes, my answer will be. What will be my answer? What will be my answer? My answer will be Bharat Pay. Yes, my answer will be Bharat Pay. The options may be quite confusing, but if you have gone through the daily current affairs, okay, day-to-day -day current affairs, then it will be easy for you to answer correctly. Next one. Recently, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh unveiled the statue of which of the following persons? this is also important from the exam point of view so it is the statue of major mohit sharma so i hope all of you must have uh, seen this picture right this picture bearded picture with long hair so this is the picture of major mohit sharma right in disguise right this is the actual picture major mohit sharma so a film is uh, recently a film is coming up the name of the film is see the film based on him is tentatively titled iftikhar okay for the honor of india iftikhar okay major mohit sharma you can see some details during his service sharma infiltrated hizbul mujahideen hizbul mujahideen sorry sorry pardon my pronunciation hizbul mujahideen under the alias iftikhar bhat so that is his name so the movie name is Uh, iftikhar okay iftikhar but on 21st march 2009 he engaged in an encounter with terrorists in the hafruda forest of kupwara sector of jammu and kashmir he killed four terrorists and rescued two teammates but succumbed to his multiple gunshot wounds he was posthumously awarded the ashok chakra the ashoka chakra the highest peace time military honor in india okay Recently that is on 26th March 2021 Hunar Hat was organized in which state quite important Hunar Hat it was organized on 26th March 2021 in which state so the state is the state is the state is Goa 
Okay. So, Hunar Hat is an initiative led by Ministry of Minority Affairs to provide the supremely talented artisans and craftsmen a platform when they can, sorry, where they can showcase their talent. See, Hunar Hat, Vocal for Local, Atmanirbhar Bharat, Self Reliant India, 26th March to 4th April, okay, at Kala Academy, Panaji Goa. So, 27th edition of Hunar Hat took place in Bhopal. Madhya Pradesh, 28th edition is taking place in Panaji Goa, 29th edition will take place at Dehradun between 9th April to 18th April, from rather from 9th April to 18th April, between ke saath and hoga, between 9th April and ok, but it will be it will be starting on 9th, so it will be from 9th April to 18th April and 30th edition of Hunar Hat will be at Surat Gujarat from 23rd April to 2nd May. So, I hope you all enjoyed this session, right, PDF to aapko telegram channel pe mil jayega, hamara exigence educator telegram channel pe mil jayega. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel, right, and in the PDF, you can just click on this link, you can just click on this particular link and the daily current affairs will open, ok, you will get the in detailed current affairs there, ok. It is also available on our app ok. So, you can read the daily current affairs from our website or app under the current affairs section and then attend my weekly classes Sunday 7 pm ok, every Sunday 7 pm right. And yes, if you are uh, struggling with quants right and if you happen to be uh, from West Bengal right, so you can just take admission in the quants batch ok, maths by Dipansar, Dipansar is uh, taking offline classes, right? He has already started the offline classes, fine. So, you will get the dedicated offline classes at Jadavpur, Kolkata, near KK Dutta uh, bus stop, right? You can just call him for admission, okay? So, um, we all know, right? He has been uh, ex faculty at various uh, organizations, various institutions. So, basic to high level batches have already started. So, you can just call him for admission if you want to take. Uh, the offline classes, right. So, I wish you all the best for all your upcoming examinations, right. So, prepare well for your upcoming exams and let us meet on the next session of current affairs, right, next Sunday 7 pm. Till then, please stay home, stay safe. God bless you guys. Take care.